Hello, hello, it's Maria. I'm a reporter here with WW Magazine, here to take you on another magical escape. I am coming to you today from the Magic Kingdom because Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the brand new attraction opening June 28th here at Magic Kingdom, is in Passholder Previews. Passholder Previews operates under a virtual queue, which is exactly how this attraction is going to operate when it opens. So for all of the ins and outs on how to secure a virtual queue, whether in Passholder Previews or when the attraction opens, follow along with me and I will give you all of the tips. Let's go. So my adventure here to secure this Passholder Preview began when I was able to make a park pass for Magic Kingdom. In order to secure a virtual queue, now in Previews or when the attraction opens, you must have a park pass reservation for the Magic Kingdom. Make sure you make it in advance. I recommend making it as early as you possibly can for the day that you're visiting Magic Kingdom. That is going to be the only way you are able to secure the virtual queue at 7 a.m. So just before 7 a.m. today, my alarm went off. I woke up and I went on the My Disney Experience app immediately. Before the clock strikes 7 a.m., I was able to confirm my party and get into the waiting area to join the virtual queue for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. As soon as that clock strikes seven, make sure you are really paying attention, hit the refresh button, and you will be taken to the next step to see if you were able to secure a boarding group for Tiana's. This is exactly how it is going to work when the ride opens on June 28th. These are the exact steps that you're going to have to take. Once you get that boarding group number, there will be a really, really cute little animated progress bar that pops up. It will let you know what groups are being called, what boarding groups are being called, and about how long you have until yours is going to be called. Not taking into consideration any ride delays or anything like that. Speaking of ride delays, Tiana's Bayou Adventure this morning on the morning of filming here of Passholder Previews did not open until almost 11.30 a.m. I kept checking the app all day. Magic Kingdom opened at 9. The attraction was scheduled to open at 9, but it did not open until 11.30. 11.30 a.m. this morning, so that did push certain groups back. I know that's been happening with this attraction in cast member and pass holder previews. It hasn't been opening with the park. Will that be different when it opens on June 28th? I'm not sure. That's just what we've experienced so far. So I always recommend if you think you have an early group or a late group, the opposite could happen too. If you think, oh, my group's going to be called really late. Sometimes these boarding groups fly and you get called a lot sooner than you might expect. So all that being said, my advice is to keep an eye on the app. The ride might not open on time or it might and you might fly through those boarding groups so watch it keep an eye on it and make sure that you are ready to come over because you have one hour after your boarding group has been called in order to make it back to the attraction when tiana's opens on june 28th there will be both a virtual queue access and lightning lane for purchase access really colorful bright and fun queue so far with all of the music and the really really neat artwork now, if you are unsuccessful at 7 a.m. when you go on to make that virtual queue pass, you do have another chance at it. At one o'clock, a second virtual queue group will open up. You have to be scanned into the park for the 1 p.m. group in order to be able to try it. You don't have to be in the park. Obviously at seven, the park's not open yet. But as far as all of the other virtual queues have gone across Walt Disney World Resort, that includes Tron, that includes Guardians of the Galaxy, you will have to be in the park in order to try for that second one. That's not how it is right now for pass holder previews, but once the attraction opens, that is 99% how it is going to go. So if you wanna try for that 1 p.m. group, make sure you're in Magic Kingdom when you attempt it. There is only one group that you can join per day though. So if you are lucky enough to snag that 7 a.m. boarding group, don't worry about it for one o'clock because you're only allowed to ride once per day. A tip, in addition to making sure everyone in your party has a park reservation for Magic Kingdom, make sure you are also family and friends linked on My Disney Experience before you attempt to make the virtual queue. You wanna make sure your whole party is together, so make sure you've gone through the process of becoming friends and family on My Disney Experience before you attempt to make that park reservation because that is something that can really slow you down and cost you very, very valuable time. When it comes down to being within the first couple seconds, I am not exaggerating. I mentioned earlier that the attraction opened two and a half hours after the park opened today. 
So if you're wondering, like I was, if that's going to mean an increased wait time because everyone was delayed in accessing the virtual queue, in this particular moment, no. It is at the 15 minute mark and I am about to round the bend and board the attraction right now. So if this is anything like it's going to be after opening, only a 15 minute wait for me here today in the virtual queue of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now I am about to board, so there will be spoilers for the attraction from this point forward. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic. I lucked out, I didn't get too, too wet on the attraction, but that is going to do it for me here today at the Magic Kingdom during pass holder previews of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Leave us a comment, let us know if you plan to experience this attraction when you next visit Walt Disney World. And I wanna know what your thoughts are on the attraction too. So leave us a comment after you've written it and let us know what you thought of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The link to the bag that I'm wearing, which is the perfect bag for this, it is our Skyliner bag dries super quickly a great bag to take with you on a water attraction is linked down in the description below so find the link to that there and a reminder that this and all of our videos are brought to you by WDW magazine link is also in our description to subscribe thanks for following along today everyone and i will see you in the next magical escape